Hi there, my name is Cronenberg and welcome to my channel. This is a game review of Amnesia, The Dark Descent. It's a first person, horror, atmospheric, indie and a dark kind of game. It's really a first person survival horror. Uh, the publisher and the developer is Fictional Games and is about £15 currently on Steam. <sighs> this game t took me a long time to complete, purely because I stopped and started. Um, Yes, a lot of people recommend this game and I can understand why. So basically the uh, the game is uh you are I can't remember you started but basically you're trying to um I think find Alexander and stuff like that and it, it's all experimental you're trying to find your way out uh, to start with um straight from the offset I think you set your colors up to be sort of darkish and you 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 really want to don't 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 change your your brightness level so you can see everything or anything rubbish like that because that what takes you into the game. Um, again, because I'm recording my f uh, let's play list as it were, uh, I had headset on. So this may be even be better if you are playing the game is to use it with a headset. The reason why is sound plays a big part. Uh, it is dark. I also played the entire game in the dark. My keyboard is black, my keys are black, there is no backlighting, I couldn't see a blasted thing. Um, sometimes when I recorded a little bit, you, you heard me sort of go, oh sorry, hang on, I can't find the key, because I couldn't find the button, which was, I think F was the lantern. So, it's kind of set in like, not medieval days, but days where there was no electricity. Um, so you've got a lantern, you've got oil, you've got to be careful, you don't want to use all your oil up quickly, you don't want to light all, the, you've got tinder, which lights the um, the, um, the lamps and things like that, but you don't want to use that all up straight away, because you've got a limited amount of it. Uh, if you get in the dark for too long, as in literally the dark, you kind of, it, I think it's called your sanity, your san sanity or sanity, starts to go, and you, basically if you get too much of this, you basically just collapse. Because um, I had it on my headset, they have this kind of like a uh, like a scratching noise. Uh, like like that. But because it's on my headset, I it felt like it was the back of my skull. So that was very unnerving, to say the least. Um, there are some puzzles, yes, definitely. There's some puzzles in there that drove me completely mad, because I couldn't fathom out how to get out at all the control room, in case anybody wants to know. Um, I think I spent ages in there. Uh, there are... <laughs> basically, you don't even see yourself. It's just you and your hand. Um, you know, with the, the wherever you carry him. Um, but my goodness me, you know, it is a scary, scary game. It's not scary as in the case of some horror games, like if you play, pff, I know, sniper zombies and you, you know that the you shoot and the heads explode or whatever no it's not like that no it's it's the fact that you're walking around say uh, like I was in a, I can't, I'm not going to say which parts but I was in a, an area and then I heard this roar and I actually literally was like oh my god because it's if it sees you you, you you're dead um, but also you're kind of immersed at that moment and you don't expect this roar of whatever or this thing to appear next to you or you even run into a room like I did at one point thinking I was safe turned around and there he was with me and I just shut the door on him um, I recommend this to anyone who likes horror films horror games um, but be warned it is there are parts that kind of lose you um, but the the storyline is is pretty cool, you know. Uh, there are flashbacks, but the flashbacks aren't complete flashbacks where you're seeing something. You're just basically hearing it whilst you're still doing something else. Um, but yeah, it's I I would 100% recommend this. Um, my playlist is quite lengthy, to say the least. So if you want to watch it, you're quite happy to do that. In fact, I'd like that if you want to. Um, maybe watch it in the dark. <laughs> um, <laughs> To, to understand what I was going through because I, I think if you l play this game in the daylight it wouldn't really it, it, it's not the same I don't think I mean you've no idea that I played it in the dark you know but trust me I did well 
don't trust me, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, the whole game is very good. Um, there's no real issues. Uh, there's been some reviews, and they were saying that it had issues with them, like it crashed at certain times. Didn't have that. Um, it didn't. I don't think it ever crashed on me. In fact, I know it didn't crash on me. Um, there's the, the famous, you'll never trust water ever again. Yeah, that's true. That is so true. I went to one part of it and I never, I didn't want to go in the water. Did not want to go in the water at all. It's like, how do I get out of here? Because of certain things happening in water. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's definitely a good game and you definitely need to hear things. There's certain things, like I say, in the background. And at the very beginning, it kind of tells you, not tells you, but it has these little spots of blood and you're supposed to trace them to find out which way to go. But again, don't just go that way. Maybe research a bit, walk around, and and you will be tempted to put the lights on, not lights on, but the, use the tinder to light up every single light bulb that you walk past, as it were. But don't, because then after a while you'll run out, and you're like, uh, and then you, you can't you can't see anything, and it's it's not good. Um, but yeah, highly recommend this game. Uh, ten, 10 out of 10 definitely for this this one um, so I have a full playlist which I've linked in the video uh, subscribe to my channel give me your thumbs up if you like it I have other let's plays and other game reviews okay thank you for watching and goodbye